one. This episode of Quit Stalling is brought to you by Jinx.com. Use the promo code QUITSTALLING underscore 366 to get 10% off of your geek swag. Need some Blizzard swag for that loved one on their birthday? Do you want to show your best friend that you'll gladly support this supersonic acrobatic rocket powered battle car soccer addiction? Then head on over to Jinx.com, get 10% off by using our promo code QUITSTALLING underscore 366 at checkout. That's QUITSTALLING underscore 366 at checkout. All right, welcome. We're on. Yes, we are live. All right, so that was cool. So when do I get to be part of the intro? <laughs> really soon. All right, for oh, those of you asking way too much already. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. All right, so uh, you guys will find out who that is in just a little sec. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, I am Harold, as you can see right over here, uh, from from Quit Stalling Fame. Uh, and, and Game Byte fame, I guess. F fame. Uh, yeah, so I am recording live from the Quit Stalling Podcast Studios studio uh, here in sunny Manila, Philippines. Uh, today is July 13th, 2017. The year, the year of our Lord, 2017. Um, and yeah, you're watching Quit Stalling. Uh, welcome. I want to welcome everyone, you know, first timers, newcomers, uh, oldies. Uh, this is the show that swings across New York, but runs around in the suburbs. Uh, the show where we travel to the land that time forgot, the land where, uh, Jeff Goldblum hits on every single living thing he sees. Uh, with me today, uh, making his triumphant debut, uh, on the Quit Song Podcast, Mr. Wancho Saldana. How you doing, Wancho? Hey, what's up? Glad oh, to man. be here. You're yeah, looking so good, dude. You're looking do I good. Do make my little intro thing now, or... Yeah, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Right, do your thing. Up? I'm Wancho. Uh, new to the show, but I've been friends with a uh, Hark here for like for a while. We went yeah. to the same college, Lasalle. Yeah, Animal Lasalle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, Wancho is going to be joining me nowadays on uh, on the Quetzalling podcast, the Quetzalling uh, Geek Cast, as it will be known really soon. Uh, Wancho, thank you so much for joining me, man. No, no, thanks for having me. Great, Dude, this intro, is awesome. By the way. Spider-Man references. A Thank you. Spoiler for what we're going to be talking about today. <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? Like, like what I'm wearing isn't like really giving it away yet. But um, yeah, we're going to be talking about uh, Spider-Man: Homecoming in just a little bit. So this is how it goes, Wancho. This is this is Wancho's first time experiencing yes, Quit Song right. firsthand. So this is how it's going to go. Uh, this part of the show, you know, we give shout outs. But before we do, uh, I, I usually ask my co-host. Uh, on Mondays, it's James. Uh, today, it is you. Uh, I oh well, I think my mic is extra loud. Uh, can you say something real quick? Say something real quick. Okay, there, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, yeah, my mic was extra loud just now because uh, I had all my settings set up for Game Byte yesterday, so everything everything's extra loud right now. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna lower that a little bit. All right. You sound fine so, to me, man. Thank you, thank you. You sound you sound great as well. So uh, at this part at this part of the show, I ask you. So what what have you been up to, Wancho? What have you been up to? Hmm. Uh, well, I well just before the show, I told you uh, I've been having a pretty crappy week. Oh. Uh, but I'm I'm sure it's about to change. Just just being on the show, I feel like a million times better. Better. I'm glad to hear. It's that. Just you know, this week uh, I had have, have this issue with my foot, and it's been acting up, so I couldn't couldn't walk too much this whole week uh -huh. like i literally had to limp to the cinemas like my girlfriend would be like carrying me kind of and you oh, know how hard wow. that is you know how big i am <laughs> yeah. wancho is and no lightweight just to watch spider-man just so i could talk about it dude that, that that's that's super awesome i'm, I'm glad you took the time too is like did you enjoy did you enjoy spider-man before we get into the the deep uh conversation we'll have later on did you enjoy I did. It was it was very fun, and I, I do have a lot to say about it. Stuff. How about All you right. though? Uh, how was your week? 
Oh, oh my god, a co-host that asks me. This usually I'm just like, "Oh, thanks for asking, James." Like I no one no one ever asks me about my week, so usually I have to do it myself. So <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's, um, that's not sad at all. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Okay, so so as I mentioned, uh, we recorded some. We we pre we recorded Game Bite live last night as we normally do on Wednesday nights at 9:30 uh, p.m. Philippine time, 7:30 uh, a.m. Uh, California time. So uh, yeah, so we recorded Game Bite. Uh, we pre-recorded. We pre-recorded a lot of stuff because I'm going uh, to the land of the rising sun in in a couple of days, and uh, oh, I'll be out for two awesome. weeks. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It's it's a family vacation. You know, I haven't seen I haven't seen a lot of my my immediate family in in so long, so it, it's gonna be great. Wait, wait. Uh, so for two weeks? Yeah, for for like fifteen days, I think. Oh, dang! Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be on the show once and then be gone for weeks. Yeah, for two weeks, <laughs> and then you'll be back, like, you know, so... Right, no, cause, right. You have fun cause, in Japan. Definitely visit, like, oh, <laughs> what part of Japan are you going to? I'm going to... First, first I'm going to Tokyo. Then right. I'm going to Osaka. Uh, okay. And then Kyoto. And then back to Tokyo before I head back here. Right, that sounds awesome, yeah. I've, I've been to Japan a few times. Ooh. Spent most of my time in Akihabara. You know, just the... Oh, the yeah, weed I, center. I hear. Yeah, and, I hear and, that's awesome. And just... Basically, spent a couple of hours in the Pokemon Center. Basically, I wanted to go to Japan just so I could go visit Pokemon Centers. Yes! Dude, so here's the thing. I'm glad you brought up Pokemon. I, I, I didn't bring this up last night because I didn't I didn't know yet uh, on Game Bite. Uh, the the 7-Elevens in Tokyo are having a promo where, they, where they're where they giving out Mew for the, the Aloha games. Alola games. Yes. So moon sun and, moon and sun, yeah, sun and moon. So I'm gonna be Dang, there at the really? perfect time. Yeah, if I can scratch you a code, like I'll definitely get one. Oh yes, please, uh, yes, please. I, oh, I actually yeah. used to play a little competitive uh, Pokemon oh, uh, on the DS. That yeah, is yeah. I, sweet. I play a lot of I play a lot of competitive Pokemon TCG, mm -hmm. and I, I dabble in the VGC, which uh, TCG trading card game, VGC yeah. video game. Wow. Okay. I, I do want to tell the folks at home. I think I'm in love, Wancho. I think I think I found the one. I think I've... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm taking actually. I have a good oh time. no, fun. no! Sorry. End <laughs> it. End it. This is this is this is this is real. This is what this is. Real. <laughs> I wish we could keep it secret, except that you know we're all we're streaming this. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So. <laughs> yes. Um. And, I, I and another. Love you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Another cool is she thing. Watching? Oh, yeah. Is she watching? Is she watching? I think I, I, I think she is. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I told her not to watch first because I'm a, I'm ashamed. I might mess up. I might be a little too nervous. You You're know? doing great. Dude. You're doing great. So, uh, another cool thing that's happening is uh, McDonald's is doing uh, a special McFlurry. It's gonna be a banana chocolate McFlurry, and it is gonna be in a Pikachu cup. Dang, so, that sounds like something you can't bring home to me. I know, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll get you Mew, you know, a small consolation. Uh, give me I'll the cup. You. Yeah, you can, you can have the ice cream, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can swing you a cup. So, yeah, th things are things are looking exciting for me for the next two weeks. And, uh, yeah, so after I get back, you know, we got some big quit stalling stuff to take care of. I, I, I've told you... Off the air, I'm teasing the the fans a little bit, but I've told you off the air that we got a couple of things planned. Hi, Robbie. Uh, so, super psyched for that. I'm super psyched for that. Uh, so at this point, you know, we're, uh, I realize the chat has been minimized. Uh, we, I want to give a shout I out know, to Diego. I, 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 just as you said that, I started checking the chat. <laughs> I was wondering how PG are we exactly, or are we even PG at all? We try to keep it at a, a PG-18. We, we can swear, go ahead, it's the internet. But, uh, you know, as much as possible, I like to I like to substitute my words just in case, you know, uh, people are listening with the kids. You know, you never All right. know. Right? All right, let me, let me try then, let me try then. Because someone in the chat... Oh, it's InstaDeezy, this is Diego. Well, How you doing, Diego? You <laughs> did oh, no, not just, miss it, just, man. He just says that 7-Eleven also has... And <laughs> I, I do not know how to make this safe. Uh, adult... Cartoon paraphernalia. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. So Go. Diego would know. Diego would know, <laughs> right? Uh, 
Yeah, he's, he's, he said it on both the YouTube and Twitch just in case we didn't see it. Like, <laughs> so that we catch it. It's so important. You, yeah, have, so, you have to mention that. No, but in all honesty, Diego, thank you for tuning in, dude. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we, got, we got like five people watching right now. Let me check uh, Twitch real quick on who's watching. Actually, could you check that? Wow. You could, yeah, could you yes, check that? I, I'm a, I am actually on Twitch. Yeah, we got Lord La... Lord, I think is watching. Yeah, so yeah, you, you'll take care of that real quick. Uh, I do want to give. I do want to tell everyone once again. Uh, we're not going to have a live show for the next two weeks. Uh, I'm trying to work out something where we can stream, and then uh, maybe Diego or Mick, maybe Wancho can join the chat. And while it's street, while our pre-recorded stuff is streaming, maybe they can interact with you guys. I'm I'm trying to figure it out. So uh, please be patient. I'll, I'll I'll be sure to post on the Facebook. So, uh, Wancho, who's, uh, who's, who's with us at the moment? Who's, who's chatting with us? Um, it is just, uh, Lord L Lazaro and... Yeah, Lord Lazaro, yeah. Zono, Zono's bat, bat, bat Yeah, name. that's, uh, that's Robbie. Uh, and see, that's, that's the thing. I, I'm seeing a lot of people on the numbers, but not, uh... I know, that's, that's what I was thinking, too. It says there are, like, four people in the chat, but I only see two. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, guys, if you're in the chat, in any chat, just message us, let us know that you're there, and we'll yeah, definitely give you guys a shout-out. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. Don't Come be join shy. the chat, man. Yeah, Wanch is new, but he doesn't bite. So... Well, I uh, can't. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Alright, on that note... Uh, <laughs> I have no idea where I was we're... going with that. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. On that note, right. we're gonna we're gonna get to the news. Alright. Well, yes. Oh, I see. Good news, everyone! Alright, it's the news! Uh, and, you know, we, we, we got our show notes. Wancho's uh, adjusting things. So first things first, Wancho. You know, we talked about it a little bit, a little early on. Let, let's get straight to it. You know, Spider-Man Homecoming. Dude, I, I want to get your thoughts, your initial thoughts on Spider-Man Homecoming. Okay, wait, wait, I have notes on this. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I loved it. I, 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 it was a very fun movie. It, it, it. It was exactly what it had to be, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say all the good stuff first, then I'd, I'd say some bad stuff later. So, and then uh, <laughs> just uh, let's see what else. Uh, I, I love on. your, your uh, Skype Tom is frozen Holland? for me. Yeah, Tom, Tom Holland. Holland. Yeah, Tom yeah, Holland. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't know if I was saying his name right. I love him as a new Spider-Man. I, I, I always. It's like when the Andrew Garfield became the new Spider-Man. I yeah. I just thought I. It, I'd immediately hate him, uh -huh. and for a while I kind of did because Tobey Maguire is Spider-Man for life, you know. Mm -hmm. But then, and then, but uh, Tom Holland, you know, I, I went into this one expecting to hate him too because, uh, you know, Tobey Maguire. <laughs> Just you know, yeah, yeah. Always, you're always the fan of the OG, OG people. Uh, yeah. But as soon as he came on screen, I was like, wow, this guy, this guy carries himself. You know, he oh. he really feels like. Uh, a teenage Spider-Man. He really feels like he's in high school, you know? Most definitely, yes, yes. Uh, what, what do you think about that? Uh, I, I agree, man. Um, I mean, yes, he was 20 when, when they were filming Spider-Man Homecoming, but... He's 20? You know, yeah, he's 20. It's, it's the wow, voice. I did not know that. Yeah, it's the voice. He, he has a very David Beckham high-pitched voice for, for his age, but... And his face, too. He looks... Yeah. He looks really yeah. young. Uh, well, he was... Hella buff though in the movie, which yeah, uh, that's they true. Didn't put emphasis on, which is good because he's supposed to be a teenage boy. You yeah, know, he's fifteen. He's lean. That's what it is. He's not like jacked. He's lean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and because uh, he has that whole gymnastics background. Uh, Tom Holland, not not Spider Man. You know, uh, he uh, he he did ballet. You know, he he was uh, Billy Elliot uh, on the stage version for like a long time. Wow. Yeah, that is news to me. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's that's what we bring you here on Quits on some hard hitting news. Yeah, now yeah, Spider Man so. used to do ballet. There you go, people. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, so uh, I I enjoyed it. I I honestly was expecting way more after his debut in Civil War, which is you know just the typical crushing expectations of a fan. Oh no, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, but. He was, you know, it was really good. Uh, I I enjoyed myself. Uh, I didn't leave the cinema thinking, oh my god, this could have been so much better. You know, like it was a good film. No, and, yeah, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking too. It was like, uh, it's like I always, after watching a movie, I always think, what could I add? What's missing to the movie? Yeah, yeah. And I felt like nothing was missing. 
You know, yeah. it's like, uh, it really felt like a Spider-Man movie. Yeah, which is great, you know. Um, the thing is, you you get a lot... Diego uh, in the chat is throwing a lot of Andrew Garfield hate our way. Uh, and he's saying, you know, Michael Keaton. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to Michael Keaton in a little bit, and I'll, I'll, oh, yeah. I'll repeat what Diego said in the chat uh, on, on the stream. But one thing I do want to say is, you know, they did a great job, like you said as well, of making Tom Holland, uh, Peter Parker, feel like a kid. They emphasized yeah. it a lot. Uh, his interactions with adults felt very, you know, this is a kid learning the ropes. He's not a superhero yet. He's mm -hmm. trying very hard, but he's not there yet, you know. And you, you get that feeling, and it's it's pretty good. It, it's a uh, you really feel like you're in high school in the movie. You yes, know? yes, yeah. It's like uh, it's like uh, what I was thinking. Oh, it's like it 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 encapsulates exactly how I imagine. If I had superpowers as a in high school, you know yeah. what I'd do. I was like, oh, this is exactly what. I, well, more of what the fat the uh, the fat guy was thinking. What's the name of the mm -hmm. fat guy again? His sidekick, the, 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 sidekick, the guy in the uh, chair. Ned. 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 Fun fact: he's a he's a hobgoblin in the future or in the comics or something. But <laughs> oh shoot! Yeah. And as 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 I as I say, oh, he just drops the globe on the video that we're showing on the on the YouTube and Twitch feed. <laughs> you. Uh, Anyway, yeah, yeah so that's, it, that's... it really feels like uh, what, like what they're thinking is exactly what, like what how I'd feel or what, what yeah, what they're thinking is exactly what I would think if I had superpowers back in high school. You know, you like you use your superpowers to get the girl directly to just show yes. up in a party as Spider Man, like exactly what the guy wanted. Show up in a party as Spider Man, show off, you know, one up the 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 bully, the, the asshole. Yes. And just be the hero and just, just that's get the, the dream. girl. That's yeah. the dream. That's and then the dream like, that when you're a, when you're a teen, that's the dream, you know, like just just to be that cool guy that has his moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, they they captured it, and then they they captured the awkwardness of trying to achieve that. Yes, that's, you know, that's you know how in high school you do something like out of this world and you regret it in the future. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, that, that's, that still happens. That, that's that's kind of what Spider-Man was actually. Most of the plot was him revolving <laughs> around his choices. Yeah. You know, most of the plot was, uh, yeah, like he was messing up. Like he'd mess up and then he'd mm -hmm. fix it. He'd mess up. He'd fix it. And that's that's yeah. that's that's being a teenager. You know. Exactly. Exactly. And it it does a good job of you know uh, showing that okay when you get powers, you don't your life doesn't automatically get better. It's not it's not the Fantastic Four every time. It's uh, you know, your 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 powers don't enhance your life. It enhances your problems. You know, so it, and it does a yeah. The movie does a good job of that. And I I honestly love the fact that you know they 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 address the issue of you know what happens when he swings in the suburbs. You know they they address that. You know he oh, does that, it. That was hilarious. He's like, that was oh, awesome. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> That was hilarious. I love that part. Thanks, thanks for reminding me. Yes, yes. <laughs> it, it, it was so cool. And, I mean, I admit it did drag on quite a bit. But, you know, it's, it's very welcome. It's very it's very welcome. It, it's about time someone addressed it. And they did it well. That was actually a joke in most of the Sp Spider-Man films. I forgot who says it. But whenever, like in the old Spider-Man films, I guess the Tobey Maguire ones, whenever Spider-Man tries to swing and you don't, and it, it doesn't seem like he could swing on anything, like it's mm -hmm. out of screen. Yeah. They said that, always imagine that there's like, an, there's a helicopter right there, yes! just out of screen. Right? Yes, that was, uh, that was said by the, by Sam Raimi, I think, uh, at, like during one of the press junkets, or someone from the Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, I thought it was the production the Tobey team. Maguire ones. And uh, it's funny, they actually did it. I, I, the movie had a bunch of nods to the older films, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, I, I, actually, I'm sorry, I don't know. Are we... Spoiler? Oh, like, uh, you know what? We, we, we can address that real quick. Uh, give me one sec. Holy spoiler alert! All right, so, guys, spoiler territory uh, upcoming. Oh, there so, we yeah, go. go ahead, go ahead. Because, uh... Oh, no, you, you, we, we mentioned one of the funniest scenes there where he just runs. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine. P people will still find it funny. It's not one of those like, ah, oh, they ruined it because they told me about it. You know what I mean? Like, people can live with Actually, that like, a little bit. Now that I think about it, the the trailer, which is a a huge uh, huge problem nowadays, I think, is it mm -hmm. gave out one of the most 
you know, one of the most important scenes in Spider-Man. Uh, when he one? tries, one? when he tries to save the the ship, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they did give they did give quite a bit away, but you know it's fine. Uh, nowadays, you really have to dodge trailers if you if you want to. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, uh, I try to make it a point to myself to never watch any trailers and never watch, look at any leak stuff. Mm-hmm. I do but it then, after. Oh no, but. Uh, what what we're gonna talk about later? We're talking about more leaked stuff later, though. Oh so yeah. I check. So I, I broke my golden rule for the show, man. <laughs> On your first five minutes, but I know. Cool. Like you, you know how much I sacrificed for the show already. <laughs> <laughs> that foot, man. That foot's not gonna go re- uh, grow back when it falls off. You know, like that's a huge sacrifice. But I, yes. I thank you for it. So uh, uh, we're having a little uh, amusing quarrel here in the in the YouTube chat with uh, Cheska and Diego. Because uh, Diego's going on about how Andrew Garfield is a joke, and uh, his girlfriend Cheska is, uh, is defending Andrew Garfield, and it's really entertaining. So, uh, if you guys oh, can, the... you... yeah, nothing like the Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, he did say Andrew Garfield is a joke with the Twitch, though, but no one replied to him. Yeah, because you know everyone. Everyone knows Andrew Garfield is adorable. He just wasn't the best Spider-Man, you know. Yeah, I, I liked him. I like. I like his Spider-Man though when he's in the suit, but I didn't like his yes. Peter Parker. His Peter Parker was too cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe if Tobey uh, Maguire was Peter Parker, but then when he goes <laughs> into the suit, it'd be Andrew Garfield. Because because Andrew's humor in the suit, you know, when when he fought the guy with a knife, the the guy with the the ski mask, that was hilarious for me. I I love <laughs> yeah, yeah. that scene. That was probably the best moment <laughs> for in all both in both of his movies for me. So yeah, so Andrew Garfield. Uh, may may you have a good future as Eduardo Severin in the Social Network too. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we got we got some more Spider Man things to talk about. But right before we talk about you know like the alternative posters that I'm just gonna start flashing in the background oh, real sure. quick. Oh, that, not that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, one thing that I do want to talk about is. You know my overall rating because I, I don't get to do ratings a, a rating show anymore. You know I never get to review things. Uh, so one thing I do want to say is, for me, uh, Spider-Man: Homecoming out of ten, solid eight. You know I would give it a solid eight. It wasn't the greatest story, uh, the greatest epic uh, story, but they made him grounded. They made him that superhero in training that people needed to see Spider-Man become before he goes off and saves the world. So that. Mm-hmm. that yeah, so I give it a solid eight. You know, very enjoyable. Bring your kids. Uh, we'll get scared a little bit, but it had its flaws. Still very good. I'm actually thinking how I could rate it, but like, let's say normally I like to base things off, like just to compare it with other superhero movies. For me, yeah, it's probably the second best superhero origin movie. Well, this uh, is technically an origin movie, yeah. right? Even though yeah, yeah. I love that they didn't go through the origin. But yeah, this is his uh, his reboot movie. I, I think it'd be the second best to me. <laughs> Ant-Man is second my favorite. Best. <laughs> oh, and the, the heist movie. The, the heist yeah, Marvel yeah, movie. The heist yeah. movie. Oh, All right. the Baskin Robbins. And just, yeah, that was my favorite origin movie. <laughs> awesome, dude. Awesome. Oh, yeah. third. So... Sorry, third. Guardians. Forgot about Guardians. Ooh. Guardians what about the Avengers? Great. How do you rate the Avengers? I love the Avengers. It's probably like my number one. The Avengers at Hmm. I it's like when I first watched it, I loved it. Then I want to watch it again. I just kept criticizing it, but I just can't remember how I criticized it when I watched it before. That's no party. <laughs> huh. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. I won't say Avengers is an origin movie though. It, technically, no, it's all not, it's everyone not. there is introduced in their own movie. Oh, did you say your favorite origin movie? I missed origin that. I missed, movie. Origin okay. movie. I missed yeah. the origin part. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So you, uh, the folks at home, uh, for those of you who are watching the YouTube feed, I'm flat. I was flashing uh, the original movie posters that were released for Spider-Man: Homecoming. Uh, one thing that Marvel did for us fans, you know, because they love their fans, is they started putting out, right after the movie release, you know, like a week after, uh, they started releasing these uh, tribute posters, you know, alternative posters, where uh, they put the cast uh, in the tradi- in traditional posters. More uh, So we got this one, uh, looks like the Breakfast Club poster. So, yeah, yeah, I like this. Yeah, so, because 
the movie really harkens back to 80s movies uh, on purpose. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, and, it's supposed to be like uh, that one 80s movie. I'm forgetting the name. Do you remember? Uh, Ferris Bueller? Yeah, yeah, Ferris Bueller. Yeah, yeah, so we also got a poster for that. So, yeah. <laughs> this is just, you know, the fan service that Marvel gives you. Just absolutely spectacular. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's super cool. And the last one is uh, from a movie called Taxi from Martin Scorsese. Taxi Driver, sorry. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the movie, but I, I did watch the trailer. It looks like a cool movie. So, yeah, know it's super cool. Yeah, Diego, Diego in the chat says, what about Spawn? Because we were just talking about uh, best origin movies. Spawn. Huh? Oh my God, I'm hoping Diego's really joking. Old. I'm hoping he's joking because Spawn was awful. Spawn. I don't remember. I, I remember liking it when I was a kid, though. Well, because, yeah, that's true. Because, you know, yeah. it's a kid. It's Edgelord stuff is cool then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Reaper is like the coolest character ever. <laughs> oh, Reap oh, my God. Yeah. That's, that's uh, so uh, true. That's, that's more gaming stuff. <laughs> yeah, for, for those of you guys uh, at home, you know, Wancho also plays Overwatch like the rest of the guys over on Quitstock, so... On the PS4. That's, that's kind of why we got him. Now, it doesn't matter where you play Wancho, as long as you're enjoying the game, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, look, a couple more things uh, from Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, we got we got a bunch of Easter eggs, didn't we? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, it's super cool. So one of them, you know, we got uh, Donald Glover uh, on, on, you know. Yeah, you know that glance. I did not catch un until oh, I had yeah. to do like research after the movie. You know yeah, how after yeah. the movie you always have to check Wikipedia and stuff. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I I didn't know who he was, but when he said his nephew, I was like, come on, that might be Miles. And then you know, when I did my research, I found out that you know Donald Glover is actually playing Aaron Davis, the Prowler from the comics. Uh, and if you guys are unfamiliar, the Prowler is the uncle to Miles Morales, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man post uh, Peter Parker, quote unquote, death. So, uh, yeah. So reporters asked Kevin Feige, you know, after the movie, uh, are we going to see Miles in the MCU soon? Uh, his reply, you know, not not so optimistic. He was saying, you know, just like we when we referenced Doctor Stephen Strange. In the Winter Soldier, we wanted to give that homage, uh, that homage that he's out there in the MCU somewhere. Uh, then he said he goes on to say, "If and when we see him, I don't know." So the thing is, though, uh, Stephen Strange did actually get his own movie. Yeah, not too long <laughs> after as well. You know, he, he made that little. I mean, it wasn't Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, it wasn't uh, Bumberflick Cumberstarch, but in in the Winter Soldier, he was very. You know, he was mentioned. Yeah, so in the remember. list of... Uh, I have to watch that again. Yeah, yeah. It was it was pretty cool. So, yeah. <clears throat> Donald Glover, in some way or another, still related to Miles Morales in the in the MCU. <laughs> so, super cool. Super cool. Uh, yeah, there's a little shot of Miles over there for those of you guys. Yeah, no, yeah. When, uh, I remember while watching it, I always thought that he seemed like a pretty cool guy for some random yeah. person who's just buying guns. You know? <laughs> so, I was like, oh, he might actually be important. <laughs> yeah, he was really cool, especially the way he worded things. You know, he's like, you know, I'm, uh, I, I don't want that stuff around my nephew. That guy, like, he, he seemed oh, like yeah, such yeah, a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was even giving Spider-Man advice on stuff, yeah. He could be, like, the mentor type to Miles Morales. Yeah. Actually, yeah. That, then no, no, then no. he'll die, of course, because that's... Oh, my God. That's what the mentor, yeah. mentor type yeah. people do. <laughs> that's true. That's so true. It's so sad, Uncle Ben. Rest in peace. Uh, from, did they, from the... Now that I think about it, did he ever say Ben? In the nope. entire movie. Not no, a single huh? time. No, Uncle Not ben. a single time. It's crazy. That's crazy. It's so weird, right? After we get bombarded with Uncle Ben in the past, like, five Spider-Man movies. I know. Movies. You know, good on Marvel for properly making the origin. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Yeah. And, what should uh, happen next is... Uh, 20th Century Fox should lend them Fantastic Four so they can do it properly. Yeah, so they can buy <laughs> the Avengers Tower. Like, that's... <laughs> it went to someone, right? And they never said who, so... Yeah. All right, so... In other... Uh, in our final piece of... Well, not our final, but uh, one more piece of... Oh, this uh, this is crazy. When you, when you showed me this a while ago, I was like, <laughs> what? That's crazy. It's that's, that's, freaking... That's like, this 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 movie actually shows. Oh, this, uh, this is a good movie of 
how it would how it would feel like if you lived in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yes. And then and then when you showed me this, I was like, oh my god, that this just adds to that, you know? Yes. It just adds to that. So uh, go ahead, you can uh, tell tell the people what it is. Yeah. So uh, those of you at home uh, listening to the podcast that, that don't know what we're looking at, it's a it's a shot of one of the Korean restaurants next to where uh, Tom uh, Tom Peter and and May uh, eat their Thai food. It, right next yeah. to it, it's a Korean, it's a Korean shop, uh, or what it looks like a Korean shop. But when you, if you're Korean and you can actually read it, apparently it says, uh, it says Korean Church of Asgard. And uh, when you look what? really close, now that now that we're actually looking really close at it, I can see it in English right below the Korean. It says Korean Church of Asgard. So you're <laughs> it right, actually Wancho. says Korean Church of Asgard. Yes, it does. <laughs> I actually just thought it said. Church of Asgard in Korea. No, it's no. actually Korean Church of Asgard. Okay. <laughs> I think it's also a funny, like, uh, a funny uh, nod street. to, like, how we have, like, Korean oh. Christian churches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. Thank you, yeah. 21 Jump Street. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, right. Exactly. Okay. 21 Jump Street. That, that, that's, that's, another, that's another good way of, uh, of, of emphasizing it. So, yeah, uh... Yeah, when I it, saw that, that was, that's insane that they, they added that. Because that's true. Yeah. Like, what, what people would do if uh, aliens attack and literally the little god, the literal god Thor shows up out of nowhere, you'd expect, you know, <laughs> people would start a religion. <laughs> Revive right? the religion because he actually came. You know, he actually, yeah. he's actually there. Thor, the god of thunder, is here. Yeah, so you it's know. only natural that people would be like, it's real! Norse mythology is real, so yeah, and I, I, I like, but yeah, it just adds the realism, just like how they uh, the vulture just you know, I, I actually thought about too, I thought about that before where there's like a bunch of tech everywhere now in the world, like what are they yeah. doing with it? And this movie answers it. That's that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So Diego in the chat says it's probably going to be a big time skip at some point in the MCU. Tom Holland is going to hit puberty at some point. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be a time skip, you know, like, it, it could just be he hits puberty and... They, yeah, they, they, I mean, like, yeah. the timeline of this movie is already messed up. Like, I, I, it confused the hell out of me. Yeah. So they don't really have to do a time skip. They can just literally open a movie and just... Yeah. Oh, it's, he, it's 20, 22 now or something. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and he's got a deeper voice and everything. So, yeah, I mean, that, that's a good idea, though. Like, time skip, don't, don't discount it, but, you know... It, it, it doesn't have to be a time skip. And he's saying, you know, I'm sure the cast of Avengers won't be playing the roles forever. That's so true. Uh, Chris uh, Chris Evans is uh, very publicized to have said that after the sequel to Infinity War, he's he's, he's likely not going to renew his contract with, with, with Marvel. So uh, what happens to the Captain America role? You know, there's, a, there's been a lot of speculation. Is it going to go to the Falcon? Is it going to go to Bucky? Uh, we just have to wait and see, you know? So... Fingers crossed that they do it right. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Uh, lastly, you know, uh, with Spider-Man Homecoming, we, we got a bunch of Captain America uh, cameos, speaking of Chris Evans. Uh, and Oh, you know, perfect. Now we can talk about the stuff I didn't like about the movie. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah. So, turns out we're getting more uh, Captain America PSAs in the, in the Blu-ray version. I, I'm assuming it's going to be like one of those Blu-ray bonuses that you could like go to through the menu and then just watch oh, all, okay. his, yeah. all the ones that didn't make the final cut so yeah i'm i'm, I'm assuming you have the same sentiments uh, that i did uh, i felt when... like i got trolled hard <laughs> trolled really hard you know af after marvel just just it, it it sears you with this movie like <sighs> wait i'm sorry I'm, I'm raging out a little bit but the Mar like the Marvel people, they sear into you that you have to wait till the end of the movie every time, just to get technically the full movie. And they yeah. give they give us that. They give us the. Uh, I, there was like, there was nothing. <laughs> there was nothing. Yeah, Compare so, that to like what happened in Guardians, where you got like seven or something. Yeah, like five. Yeah, five. Uh, five. Yeah, five after credit scenes, which actually matter. You get the Captain. No, Earth. but that's the thing, though. They gave us five. It was a good troll for 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 Spider-Man, and it was the only movie that they probably could have squeezed it in aside from Ant-Man. Huh. I guess. Yeah, uh, I, I feel I feel very betrayed that they did that to me. <laughs> I so I betrayed. think it, 
Yeah, I, I was annoyed, but looking back on it, it's it's not for me. It wasn't so bad, but yeah, I could, I could, I was very like, what? Really? Are you? I mean, have you have you seen like those internet comics about uh, the the stages of watching a Marvel movie? Oh have no, you ever seen I have those? not. Like, like a Marvel fan would go into the movie, go all hyped about it. Goes like, oh my god! Like like the start of the movie. The Marvel fan would be all like, oh my god, I can't wait, this is going to be awesome, this is going to be awesome. Then when the movie starts, the Marvel fan's going to be all like, oh no, this, it was better in the comics, it shouldn't be like that, man, and it'd be all pissed. But then the payback oh, yeah. is when, in the after credits scene, only the Marvel fan would know like, oh my god, that's going to oh. happen, that's that's the guy who's going to, you know? Yeah, you yeah. You that for Spider-Man. Was, it, that's yeah. true, that's true. Uh, so, yeah, it's it sucks, but I mean... If for some reason Marvel and Sony don't get along well in the future and the rights go back to Sony fully, I'm glad we got a lot of Chris Evans in this one. <laughs> so Actually, yeah. now that I think about it, the movie actually felt more like an Iron Man and Spider-Man movie. It felt like a team-up movie, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so good, like, good stuff. I think Tony Stark was trying to be the new Uncle Ben. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, th- I think uh, Kevin Feige and all those guys did that on purpose. With, 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 to good effect, you know, I mean, uh, they couldn't get Nick Fury, who was the mentor to Peter in the Ultimate Universe. Because uh, it, it also made more sense because Tony was the one who gave him the suit. Mm-hmm. So it, it was it was a natural fit, and I think it felt well. We got a Deej Fabian in, in the Twitch chat saying, "Have you guys watched the critique of Marvel movies with the comedic timing? Have you seen that?" I'm Deej. If you could if you could link that to us in the oh, Twitch have, chat, have we will seen we, we will check it out in the after show. We we, we could do that. So right. yeah, link link it to us, and we'll definitely check it out after. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoy <laughs> the rest of the show. So, uh, speaking of the rest of the show, we got more Marvel news, don't we, Wancho? We got, a uh, yes, yes, we do. We got some the... Entertainment Weekly. Uh, we got some stills from them for, for the Black Panther. See, this uh, is the thing I was coming. talking about. Normally, I would ignore this, because I, I don't like watch, looking at spoilers, but now I'm going to look yes. at it. For you. Oh, I'm, You're I'm so sorry. Yeah, a lot of sacrificing <laughs> for the show. I, I do tend to avoid these as well, but when I saw it, it was, you know, it was, it was hard not to look at. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Oh, uh, Bobby Australia in the chat says you just got here. Did we just start? No, sorry, Bobby. We've been on for about, about half an hour, but you know, you you didn't miss too Has it much. Really, been half an hour? Like twenty-seven minutes. We've, we've well, been that's on a crazy. roll. Crazy, and all we talked about was Spider-Man. Yeah, I know, right? We've been on a roll, Bobby. Just, uh, if you miss stuff, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll be uploading this tomorrow. So d- don't worry, don't worry. So uh, yeah, we got some stills from Black Panther. I I, ha- I wasn't sure. I I don't know if I actually knew this, but Forrest Whitaker is. <laughs> Is in the movie? I, I don't know if I knew this, but like I knew Michael B. Jordan was gonna be in it, but you know I was surprised. Did you Who's know Forrest Whitaker again? Um, saw Guerrera in Rogue One. Oh, Jin! Oh, him! <sighs> him! Yeah, oh. yeah. Him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like, yeah, he's him. right there. He's where you said you, you said him. I'm like, who's that? Oh, he's right there. He's the guy with the giant spear. Yeah, yeah. Not not, not, oh. not overcompensating I'm, I'm not. anything. I'm not uh, that informed about the whole uh, Black Panther stuff. I'm not. I don't read the comics or anything. So. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I just wanted to point out. You know, th- uh, we're just we're just gonna breeze through these, but these look pretty good. These shots are pretty cool. Uh, we get a good look at T'Challa uh, and and his entourage. We we got a we got uh, so his suit. We got a better look at his suit from up close. Uh, yeah, Michael B. Jordan in his armor. He kind he kind of looks like he's part of the Nova Corps actually. Uh, uh, who's he playing again? Uh, Forgetting his name, I'm not sure. I I, I, I know it's like uh, I, 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 important. I'm, you can Google uh, it; it's fine. So while you while you're looking for it, I'm gonna go through these. We got uh, we got T'Challa Killmonger, again. I think Shows. right. Sorry. That, I think he's Killmonger. Killmonger. Oh. He's trying to a... take. Uh, so he's like trying to take the throne or something. Okay. Oh yeah, that makes sense. You know, you got a king, you got to challenge the throne in the story. That that makes total sense. Yeah, so uh, the, each, uh, uh, that that picture. That oh dude. yeah, man. Ooh. This 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 threw me off. Like, what's up with his skin? Goosebumps. Yeah, he 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 also has goosebumps in this. <laughs> All yeah, right. I, oh, this. Gave me the next... <laughs> oh yeah, I actually want to talk about that picture real quick. Oh sorry, the the yeah. one just now, the goosebumps one. Yeah, the goosebumps one. All right, so sorry. Before you do, uh, Deed uh, said that the video he was talking about, the critique, uh, 
talks about how it's a lazy method uh, that, that, that Marvel's doing for, for non-substantial moments that lower the intelligence of scenes. Uh, he's saying he's going to try and look for it, so... Th- thank you, Deej, for, for, for looking that up. Uh, yeah, right. again, we hope you, Bobby, and the rest of the guys in chat enjoy the rest of the show. Oh, sorry, I, I closed it again. Here we go. <laughs> no, nothing. It's just, uh, it's, uh, like, oh, man, oh, I'm sorry. It's just, I'm just looking at it, and it's grossing me out. But <laughs> you, you, you're, you look like you're about to it's... vomit as well. <laughs> no, it's because, you know, it's, what is that? You know, that that's scarring, right? I... Is this, like... Is this a nod to like how African tribes they do they actually do that like some scarring as tattoo? You know? That's that's a good way of putting it. I was gonna say maybe he got tarred and feathered, and you know they took the feathering part a little too a little too hard. Uh, or maybe it reminds me of a uh, uh, that the Batman villain Zaz. I do. I'm not familiar with Zaz. Who, who is Zaz? Zaz? Uh, the where, where, whenever he kills someone, he marks it on his skin that he killed that guy. What? So that I'm thinking maybe up. that's what this is since this is scar like that that's scarring, right? That that definitely is scarring. So like whenever he kills someone, he has he adds a little dot to his skin. That's what okay, I was so I'm looking at I'm looking at Victor Zaz. I don't want to show him on uh, on the on the screen right now because he looks a little messed up. He looks like um he looks like he was the inspiration for Deadpool in in the Wolverine Origins <laughs> movie. He is pretty crazy. He That's that's gross, dude. This is this is yeah. I'm not I'm not throwing that up on, on the screen. <laughs> All right. Uh, and so uh, I'm gonna sc- hey, cycle through the rest of these this. photos. Yeah, I'm gonna cycle through the rest of these photos. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we we gotta look at um, Lupi- Lupita Nyong'o, uh, most most famously known in the geek community as Maz Kanata from from Star Wars: oh, that's The Maz. Force Awakens. Yeah, that's Maz on the left wearing the red. Uh, we we got more of her and and I I love the the couture. Of, uh, it's Bilbo. Uh, yeah, it's Bilbo. <laughs> it's Bilbo Baggins. I love the couture of. I love how I'm talking about fashion when we have freaking Martin <laughs> Freeman on the screen. I, but I, I love how it looks. You know, it looks it looks natural. It looks very. It looks like a good tribute to African uh, culture, but at the same time, it's very modern. It does, and in this picture, actually, uh, Bilbo stands out, and it it makes sense that he would stand out because he's a he's a foreigner. Like he has this light blue coat, <laughs> while everyone has like this you know like brownish dark coat stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, I love, I love the, I love the look. You know, it's very Wakanda. You know, when you think of Wakanda being in Africa, but at the same time, a very advanced civilization. That's true. And uh, yeah, and here we got Ulysses Claw, played by uh, Caesar, um, king of king of uh, motion capture, because his name. I'm, I'm, I'm using a lot of names because I can't remember his his real name. Spiegel. <laughs> Spiegel. <laughs> Smeagol, yes. Uh, God, someone in the chat, uh, tell me, tell me his. I, I remember it's a weird name. Why, why can? Why am I forgetting that? Andy Circus. Andy Thank Circus. you, Thank Andy you. Circus. S e r k i s. And then uh, lastly, we got some uh, some more Saw Guerrero with some face paint. So, yeah, movies movie shipping up to to look pretty good, and I'm excited. I'm 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 honestly excited for this. Hopefully, they have a good after credit scene. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very true. Very true. Uh, yeah, Diego in the chat. Doesn't matter if the movie sucks. Just make give me a good after credit scene. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, so we got some we got some news about Luke Cage, man. Uh, Luke Cage season two, the premiere. Uh, the article I read was very misleading. The premiere episode only, I think. Uh, Lucy Liu is going to be directing. Yeah, yeah, I, I read about that. That's. I didn't even. You know, I haven't seen Lucy Liu in a while. Besides, like uh, that one Netflix show where she's Watson. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, Elementary. Is that Netflix? Elementary. Is that Netflix? Oh, I, I don't know. I just I just saw it on Netflix. I'm not sure if it's a Netflix show. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's it's, it's a uh, yeah. It's Lucy Liu. Uh, yeah. So she plays uh, jo- Joan Watson in a in in a Sherlock uh, inspired show. It's it's pretty good from what I hear. Uh, yeah, so she's going to be directing the premiere episode of Luke Cage Season 2. I just wanted to glance I have, over that. I have that. something to admit, though. I'm actually not a big fan of the the whole uh, TV universe of Marvel. Oh, really? In general? Even Netflix? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like... Uh, well, I, I, I like Daredevil a little bit. Mm-hmm. Actually, you know, I actually just don't like uh, TV superhero movies so far. 
Oh, okay, okay. Uh, now I'm gonna get uh, which hunt? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so tweet him at Soldana Wancho. Uh, yeah, to you, you convince see... me to watch something. <laughs> cause uh, no, cause uh, I don't know. I, cause I used to watch Arrow. Uh huh. And I uh -huh. I really liked Arrow until like a certain season where it just uh, what people who died would just not die anymore, and I just thought okay. oh, this, this is bull. Then I stopped watching Arrow. Then I tried watching The Flash, and I thought it was kind of I didn't yeah. like it there. Yeah. Then, then but then I watched. Uh, Daredevil. I thought Daredevil was the bomb. So I, then I then I was like, okay. I, after Daredevil, I was like, okay, I'll give it a chance again. I started watching uh, Iron Fist, and I just uh, after one episode, I was like, okay. I'm oh never no! Watching. Why? Why Iron Fist? No! <laughs> that is like the Iron Fist is so cool, and then they give, and then it, it's played by the uh, Loras Tyrell, Tyrell yeah. from Game of Thrones. I was like, I gotta watch this, and. I got very depressed after that, and I never watched again. So I, I never, I never came around to watching uh, Jessica Jones or Luke Cage, or I, I don't, I don't plan on watching Defenders. So you, you gotta convince me, man, throughout the show. If you, I mean, you pretty much just said like I didn't, I didn't go back to Jollibee because I had the Jolly Hot Dog, or like, I, <laughs> <laughs> like you, you just said like oh I didn't go back to McDonald's because I had the what's what's well, the, what are you like the, if you like went to a restaurant and got food poisoning would you come back it's not food poisoning when you or like you ordered what? the worst dish Iron on the menu food poisoning. You, you didn't <laughs> get food poisoning but you ordered the worst dish on the menu that was like very ah oh, man I, I i i can't defend it like iron fist is really bad <laughs> <laughs> i mean oh my god the fight scenes were so, oh, so many cuts the funny yeah, thing is yeah. my, my girlfriend loves it and then when it went, while she was she she finished the entire thing and while she was watching it I'd be like, cut, cut, uh, cut. I'd be counting how many times they cut, whenever the, the fight, during the fight scene that made yeah. me dizzy. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. But yeah, like but, honestly, but, I would I would recommend this. I would recommend the other Netflix series, the other Marvel ones because they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Uh, I I'm a fan of Daredevil. Uh, Jessica Jones is a more cerebral one. Uh, Luke Cage feels like two seasons in one season, so like there's a bit of a high low, high low. So uh, do that what you will, but I would recommend uh, Daredevil again. So yeah, g give that a shot. Uh, How about that? I never did finish the other one too, the Agents of Shield. Agents of Shield is, is pretty good for me. It's still going on. I for that one, I would recommend you watch in one go, uh, since you since you haven't really watched it. Uh, I watched a few episodes and I, I didn't stick oh, with yeah. it. Shout out to Sophie no, V. Oh, shout out to Sophie V's Gaming uh, or VS Gaming. Uh, she just followed us on Twitch. Thank you for the follow. Hope you enjoy. She's not here uh, though. She's a ghost. Oh, oh, yeah. oh! Whoops! <laughs> that's, that's what she's saying. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> Too late. I'm so sorry. Please don't unfollow. <laughs> Uh, Diego in the chat's asking if anyone, uh, if any, if there's any news on Chloe Bennett. No news yet. Hope, uh, maybe she'll show up in Asia Pop Comic Con because she was supposed to, I think. Uh, <laughs> Bobby in the chat says Arrow sucked, but I think Flash is really good. I, I tend to agree with him. I, I like, I really like the Flash. Um, Deej Fabian linked us on, linked us to the video so we could check that out in the, in the end. Oh, uh, yeah, Diego said Gotham was good until they started focusing more on Bruce. Uh, oh, you know, I never did, never. I never, never did watch yeah. Gotham. Me neither. Uh, it seemed like un it seemed unnecessary. You know, it seemed like you know, let's watch a show about you know, like there's too much Batman. So you yeah, know, yeah, let's, yeah. Let's, like let's really? watch a, let's watch an or an origins basically an origins TV show just of of not Batman. You know, I, I, <laughs> come on, seriously. Yeah. Like, hey, if hey, anything, focus why on we, Dick why Grayson. Why we like? Why we? You know, hating on it. We haven't watched it yet, man. That's true. Actually, <laughs> you know what? I, I I like that. You know, it's a that's a very good point. I I don't like hating on things I've never seen because people who do that sound so ignorant. You know what? Good job, good job, Wancho, for calling us out. Yeah. I, 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 on I, I can hate on Iron Fist because I've actually watched it, which I feel same like same. I, I slogged through all of those <laughs> episodes. God damn it! Uh, <laughs> you actually watched the entire thing? I I we did a review on the show uh, on. It's on the YouTube feed. You guys, 
It's like if you want to check it out. I was so sad about was when he finally reveals the Iron Fist wasn't it wasn't satisfying at all. That's because yeah. that, I watched up to there. I was like, I'll give this show a chance until I see the Iron Fist. You know, the the punch. We, yeah. And it was, it was very sad. Anyway, let's move on. I'm getting yeah. Lost. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, so, oh, Bobby <laughs> Australia likes Gotham. So okay, so maybe we oh, should okay. check it out. There we go. We almost lost a follower because of you. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sophie, Sophie, please. I mean, she's a ghost. Gotham is the best. <laughs> uh, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, Diego, me, me and James talked about Glow. Diego in the chat is talking about Glow. We, we talked about that on Monday. So, Diego, you got to you gotta wind back a little bit. But, yeah, um, just to talk about it again real quick. Glow is a good show. It's on Netflix. I recommend you guys watch it. Uh, stars Allison Brie. And uh, the wife of Dane Cook in American Gods. Uh, oh, that's uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she lot, a lot that, better. That's the, in, that's the show about uh, wrestling, right? Yes, the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Right, right. right okay, yeah. I just see that on the YouTube ads. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they do have a lot of ads for that. All right. Uh, uh, moving on. For, while moving we're talking on. about shows, though, like a yeah. good show on Netflix that I binged watch, binge watch. Mm-hmm. It's like they they like out of nowhere. I didn't even know it was coming out. Was the Castlevania series? Mm. Have you seen those? Yes, yes. We talked about it a little bit yesterday. But yeah, uh, give us your opinions. You you watched all of it, right? Yep, all the whole season, four episodes. <laughs> all four episodes. That uh, from what I hear, episodes. you can finish the... in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, can I, you I, really? I when I saw it too, I was like, oh man, this is so cool. I, something new, something new to binge. And I just, I, I was just shocked because I didn't check the entire, uh, the entire thing. Oh, wow, good job. You, you, you put a picture right, right up. Oh, yeah, man. That was, I that got was fast. This. You're fast. I got this. Props to you. <laughs> um, yeah, so I watched the entire thing in, like, one sitting. And, and I didn't check, like, how many episodes there were because I was just, like, I was just so ready to watch something new. Yeah. It's, like, it's like the ending I didn't know was the ending. I was just surprised there was nothing new after that. You know how, like, after... After you watch an episode of Netflix, it automatically plays the next episode. Yeah, yeah. Like after the fourth episode, I was like, "Oh, is, did it bug or something?" And I felt yeah. the exact same thing about the first Voltron season because they ended on the weirdest freaking cliffhanger. Uh, they, they, they made it seem like there was gonna be another episode right after. So it was, oh my god, don't. Oh. <laughs> No, yeah, but, but yeah, now, I guess yeah. you know, that's what you have to do with the pilots, right? It's, I mean, the first season, it's a test mm-hmm. if anyone would watch it. So I I highly recommend people watch this because I, I really like it. It's up my alley. Like, it's yeah. the kind of show I'd watch. It's it's an Americanized... It's an American anime, in my, basically. Yeah. It, it has a lot of uh, anime cues. It's uh, it's the story of Castlevania 3, if I remember right. Yeah, it's Castlevania 3. Yeah. The story is really interesting. It starts out with uh, Dracula falling in love, and then oh, yeah, he yeah, falls in love with, with a doctor. It's like a doctor would go up to went up to Dracula's castle, and then she wants to learn more about science. And Dra- yeah. Dracula knows all this stuff, yeah. so she wants to learn about science to help the poor, you know. And then of course and then the church burns her as a because she's a witch. <laughs> So that's oh how it God. starts, and and you just know Dracula is not gonna take this shit lying down. So that's how that's why there's a bunch of demons in the world, and that's the intro to Castlevania. <laughs> and then Gosh. like the we have a hero. Dang, I cannot remember. His oh, name, sorry. But yeah, oh, we, I don't mean to interrupt you, but a Sophie in the chat's asking what we're talking about. We're talking about a uh, Castlevania on Netflix. Oh yeah, Castlevania on Netflix. Just just uh, real quick, because we mentioned Netflix series, and yeah, this came out like this month. This month, there's like a bunch of shows, uh, good shows coming out. But yeah, check yeah. this one out. Four episodes. It's just, uh, yeah, it's it, it feels very adventurous and it's really gory. Basically. Oh yeah, yeah, I hear it's very gory. It's very gory and like, but it's it's really cool. It feels like it just it just feels like an adventure, and I can't wait to uh, for the second season. Awesome. I don't want to spoil any more because it's it's really good series. Okay, yeah. So guys, check it out. It's only four episodes. You can get through it in an hour. Uh, Another Netflix series that we should be talking about and are about to. Uh, Stranger Things finally got a release date for season two. Oh yeah, uh, perfect timing too. But well, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure, I'm sure they planned it like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, most four definitely. Four days before uh, Halloween. Yes, yeah, exactly. October 27th. Four days. Right there, it's right there. <laughs> yeah, before All Hallows Eve, uh, October 27. 
Uh, I'm looking forward to this because the first one caught the world by storm. You know, the first season, I know. no one. No one saw it coming, and BAM! It just became a phenomenon. Asia Pop Comic Con last year was full of people cosplaying as Eleven, uh, guys and gals alike, so it was really cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like Stranger Things, yeah. Just, uh, just, just, just the fact that they were little kids playing D&D, I was like, alright, I'm hooked. Yeah. What happens now? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Because I, I, I totally relate to these people now. I, I don't want them to die. <laughs> Exactly, man. Like, out of nowhere, we just formed, like, connections to these characters, and it's, it's just so good. Yeah. 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 All right. So, uh, next up, want to, you want to talk about, uh, oh, the Game of Thrones release date. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. This is another good show coming out this month. July 16, 2017 is oh, Game of Thrones time. Oh, I cannot wait. I am a huge Game of Thrones fan. Like, crazy huge and if you want to do a show about game of thrones i can tell you about theories like crazy theories about game of thrones oh, uh wow. i've read the books uh i, I play the you have a living card game and i was into that mm-hmm. you know it's like a it's like a trading card game but yeah it's a uh, yeah i'm really into game of thrones uh, uh it's yeah so july 16 and i have a little fun fact that came which they released which I found out about literally right before the show started. I just felt like checking out <laughs> okay. the Thrones news, you know, because that's, that's what I do. Okay. Uh, fun, little fun fact about this. You know how last, was it last season of Game of Thrones where, like, entire episodes got leaked? Was it, Yeah, yeah, that was last season. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know is, how, uh... And then, you know how <clears throat> you've, you, you've been seeing uh, pictures from paparazzis on the set of Game of Thrones, like, People would take pictures of uh, oh, that's Rick and Morty now. Go back. Sorry, whoops. I thought I, <laughs> I, thought I clicked away to that. <laughs> I thought I clicked away. There, yeah. All right. Anyway, so like, uh, uh, yeah. So you know how you see pictures of the set of Game of Thrones online? Yeah. yeah. Like you can see like Kit Harrington with, let's say Daenerys. I'm not sure. I because like I said, I don't like to look at that stuff. But you can find stuff like that, like uh, Kit Harrington with Daenerys. So you can assume that oh, they're gonna they're gonna have a scene together. Mm-hmm. Uh, fun fact is that Kit Harington actually sh- shot 15 hours worth of uh, fake material just to throw off paparazzis. That is messed up, dude. That is that is uh, fighting the fighting the the man, man. <laughs> I don't know. It's just that's that it's counter crazy. counter paparazzis. I thought it was genius. I was like, oh, now <laughs> now everything you see online, you can't you can't take as a as gospel, you know, like no, people that's would. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I like to look at, I like to go online and just search theories of game, theories on, on Game of Thrones, like, and uh, people would use the pictures from the leaked uh, from paparazzis as fact, you know, like, oh, so this is gonna happen. So this this means this is gonna, this guy's gonna die. So now you can't take any of that. Now you, you literally just have to wait for uh, July sixteen. Yeah. To know yeah. Every- and yeah, that that I mean. I love it, but it's it's very extreme. It's like how nowadays uh, screenplay writers are starting to write things on typewriters because they can't trust the cloud anymore, or they can't trust their laptop because if it gets stolen, like it's, uh, the, the lengths people have to go to nowadays for very popular franchises are ridiculous, and people just gotta calm the f down. All right, <laughs> that's that's all I'm saying. Just calm down, people. Let 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 the man work or. Women, you know, like, gosh, dang it, like, that's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous the lengths that people have to go to nowadays. So. All right. Are you a Game of Thrones fan? By like, how, I I like, like Game of Thrones. I am not a hardcore fan. I will not read the books, uh, but I enjoy the show. All right, I, I'm out. I'll see you later. Um, All right, we'll see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's the show. Nah. <laughs> that's the show. Thank you for joining us. Now, uh, but yeah, so uh, I, I do enjoy the show. So a song of ice and fire. Uh, I w- I may not read, but you know, I, I, I uh, or maybe I'll I'll read it eventually, you know, after the show, actually, just so the, I don't compare it. When the sh- series comes out, we could actually talk about the episodes. Yeah, and I could yeah. try and squeeze in like some book theories and book stuff for you, you know, just to educate you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could do like a whole Talking Thrones, you know, like a uh, Chris Hardwick style. We'll we'll just sit this, <laughs> we'll just uh sit down and talk about Game of Thrones and theories. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, so, 
Yeah, Game of Thrones coming out July 16th. It's in three days. No, four days. Uh, our time. Holy crap. I did not realize it is in four days. That. Oh, yeah. Bobby in the chat says boobs, dragon, and knights. Amen, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Especially that first part. Uh, so, yeah, Wancho's going to school me on, on, uh, on Game of Thrones, guys. So stay tuned for that. Uh, <laughs> We're going to call it, uh, what can we call it? Like, uh, quit throning. Uh, all right. Quit throwing. Yeah, we'll quit throwing. think of something. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, in other news, uh, Rick and Morty, man. Rick and Morty got a yeah, release date as well. This comes out uh, July 30th, 2017. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. continues uh, from the, I just want to say, the genius, genius counter April Fool's prank they did. That was, that was a good thing. Yeah, we talked about it on the show as well, but yeah. Uh, oh, real quick before we get into it, uh, shout out to Knee, <laughs> Knee as in the body part, uh, Grow as in he grew, uh, 174, Knee Grow <laughs> 174, <All right. laughs> thank you for following us, uh, <laughs> hope you enjoy the show, <laughs> oh, uh, Bobby in the chat says his character in, Ra- his character in Ragnarok, uh, is named after Mr. Meeseek, so pretty cool, man, pretty cool, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, Wancha, sorry, you were saying, Man, now I want to talk about Ragnarok. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I can't. I'm, wrong show, wrong show. So. Wrong show. We'll, we'll <laughs> get to that eventually. We'll get to that eventually. I just, uh, I just wanted to say, I, I'm just, I just wanted to say I'm, I'm really hyped about this show. I think it's one of the best cartoons of, mm-hmm. just one of the best cartoons ever made, in my opinion. Amen. It's, it's like, that's, uh, that's so true. I feel like what Family Guy and should be. It's random, yes. but not just random yes. for the sake of random it's random with a plot yeah family guy used to be good until it tried to become the simpsons mm. and then you know that that's kind of when things just yeah uh, yeah but anyway yeah so and yeah, yeah and like just what they did on april fools man i was i cannot get over that i was trolled in a good way you know how like yeah. everyone's saying oh april up uh, rick and morty came out rick and morty came out i was like oh, i'm not gonna trust anything today exactly Exactly, and, and but it was good. I literally watched it at night. It's like, I've been seeing the news the whole day, but then I, like, I just did not believe it, so I just, I, until, like, someone messaged me and I, I was able to watch it. That was a, that was a good day. Good April yeah, Fool's I, prank. I did the same thing. I did the exact same thing. So, yeah, thank you to Dan Harmon and, um, so the guy's name? Justin... Roiland? Yeah, does the voices. Ugh. Justin Roiland? Yeah, 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 yeah. So thank you guys for, for being the trolls that you are. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And I'm, I'm looking forward to McDonald's finally caving in and giving us the Mulan Szechuan sauce. Which they uh, will, because there's a Mulan movie next year. Oh right? my god! <laughs> they uh, have, yeah. Oh, you just blew my mind. I didn't even think about that. That is crazy. That's that's yeah, that's double you, promotion right there, you know? Just, just You know, McDonald's, if you like money, you got to do it. You, you are genius. It. You are genius, man. You are yeah, yeah. And uh, oh, uh, quick side note: Ming Na Wen, uh, the original voice actress of uh, Mulan, uh, is lobbying to get a little cameo role. So maybe oh. she'll play the mom. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So uh, fingers crossed. Ming Na Wen, uh, for a fifty-year-old, she is smoking. I actually have no idea what she looks like, but oh, I'll really? take your word for oh, it. Yeah, yeah. She played uh, Chun Li in Street Fighter. That was her. I did not watch Street Fighter. Okay, yeah. watch <laughs> Agents of Shield. She's there as well. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna wrap up with uh, one or two more bits of news. Uh, All right. Yeah. But before we do, uh, Wancho, why don't you run down the people who have messaged? You know, g- give them a couple of shout outs before I uh, before I do so. On the on the Twitch. All right. Uh, let's yeah, see. Yeah, do the Twitch. I'll, I'll read out the YouTubes if uh, for 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 when you're done. Oh wow, the, the Twitch actually has a bunch of chats. I'm sorry, I, I did not check it. <laughs> no, 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 dude, go ahead, go ahead, man. Take it down, take it down. Oh yeah, so uh, yeah, thanks again to Deej Fabian woo, for the, the IGN Deej. video. Yeah, we'll watch it after show. Definitely. Uh, yeah, Insta Diego, Insta DZ. Yeah, he was telling us about how Gotham was good. And uh, eh. <laughs> Sophie, sorry, Sophie BS Gaming. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> she says she says she would never unfollow us because she has no energy to to do it. Oh, uh, okay. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Um, let's see. Uh, Diego wanted to talk about Glow. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, and uh, Deej Fabian wants to know about how we feel about the video. Oh, and yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll send him our love after this. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys for joining us. If you want to get more shout-outs on chat, please keep typing in. Shout-out to Bobby Estrella, uh, Robbie Hilado. Uh, on YouTube, we got Cheska Belmonte. Thank you, Cheska. Uh, some guy named Diego Zulwaga. Ugh, attention horror. No, I'm just kidding. Diego, I love you. <laughs> I love you, dude. I love you. I'll see. We'll, we'll talk soon. We'll talk soon. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, yeah, Bobby was saying Marissa Tomei is smoking hot for a 52-year-old. Uh, That's... He also said that on the Twitter. Uh, on the Twitter, on the Twitch. Oh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I was reading the Twitch at this point. Yeah, so, and very true. And seconded by Z- Z- Zon... Z- yeah, that's Robbie. Z- that's Robbie. That? You can just say Robbie, yeah. Robbie, okay, thank you. That's yeah. way easier to say than Zon... Z- <laughs> Z- 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 okay. Uh, oh, he, al- oh, he also... Robbie also said... That he is salty about the Rick and Morty hijacking Samurai Jack episode. I did not know that. Was Samurai oh, yeah. Jack supposed to It come was supposed out to during? play at that time, the exact same time. And then it was Rick and Morty that played, and they put off Samurai Jack for a week, so that's why he's still kind of mad. I did not know about that. Yeah, well, Samurai Jack was good. So, I mean, rushed, but yeah, at, least we, rushed. at least we got it an ending. It, it, I'm just happy it, ended. It, it got an ending, you know? Yes, yes. Amen, amen. All right, let's, uh, let's wrap up with... Uh, well, one one story and one quick bit. So first of all, we got uh, KFC. Man, KFC is opening up a <laughs> God damn. Oh, opening up a healthy a restaurant. Pot. Yeah, they're they're uh, according to that's mag, uh, KFC is opening up a uh, K Pro. So K Pro is going to be serving things like uh, fresh smoked salmon, uh, shrimp salads, sandwiches with grilled chicken, not fried, grilled. So grilled chicken. Yeah, they're so KFC they're going the technically way. not KFC because Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah, they're they're gonna be Kentucky Fresh Chicken. God, fresh it sounds chicken. so bad. No, I didn't mean that. That's not, that's not a joke, people. That's that's just bad. That's just oh my god. Oh, are they really gonna be Kentucky Fresh Chicken? No, 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 no. They're gonna be they're gonna be called K Pro. Uh, that's weird. Um, this is uh, this is opening in China. China? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it says on their aprons. You can see it. Uh, it says it. Uh, tasty, fresh, healthy. Man, you know, when you think of KFC, you don't really think of no, fresh you don't and think healthy. Of, you don't see green. You see a bucket of orange <laughs> deliciousness. That's what you see. Yes, not, not, exactly. No green. No green. No green. This is, uh, green. This is funny that this is... There's, you know about the other KFC in Japan? Oh, since you're going to Japan. Oh, what is this? What is this? Uh, the KFC buffet. What? <laughs> Yeah, there's a KFC buffet in Japan. I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't really research about it. It's just, it's just a little fun fact. I know I heard about it. It opened around, I think I heard about it last year. So it maybe it probably opened around then. So you should check it out. KFC uh, buffet. KFC, KFC buffet, man. Total counter to this uh, abomination that is K Pro. Yeah, we, I, I gotta offset thought, this no, disgusting. We haven't K-Pro. tried it. We can't hate on it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know it's gonna suck. No, no, no. But yeah, I mean. <laughs> Healthy food is really actually, you know what? In all seriousness, healthy food is hard to find at an affordable price. Oh so, no! Yeah, yeah, right. If 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 this is gonna be at a good price, I am all for it. In in all seriousness, that's you true. know, that's true. Because like, like organic stuff, like all that is priced so if it, high. Yeah, if it is affordable and fast, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, that would be good. Because like, like you know the uh, what, what's popular in the middle of the salad stops, man. They're yeah, salad stops. Pricey is, is hell, and it's. It's nuts. Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely could, nuts. Yeah. Okay, now now I'm four. I'm four K Pro now. Yeah, yeah. You know, like <laughs> jokes aside, it, it's actually qu- kind yeah. of a good idea if they do it right. You know, if yeah. this isn't just gonna be like full of like, uh, if it really is gonna be fresh, then by all means, please do it. That, this though, this uh, the salad bar. I'm not a fan of salad bars because that stuff is not meant to be at a bar. You know, it's supposed to be like chilled and then served. This is gonna get like people sneezing on you, coughing on it. Like that's true. Is it even keep... covered? Is I don't it... know, right? Like I can't. And, really and where's the gravy? <laughs> oh wait, no. You know, you know what? You're right. It's covered. Uh, the people get it from behind. All right, never mind. This is this is a good idea. Keep keep it fresh. <laughs> Subway, keep it fresh. Uh, Not as genius as KFC buffet, though. I'm just saying. Just <laughs> I know, dude. I I am psyched about that. All right. In our last bit of news. Uh, which one do I? I don't know. Okay, two two pieces of news. Uh, 
Wiz Khalifa's Furious 7 uh, song, See You Again, has overtaken Psy's Gangnam Style for a uh, title of YouTube's most watched video ever. I was uh, very surprised by that. Yeah, yeah, it's probably not going to last long because someone named Louis Fonzi uh, and his song Despacito uh, without, you know, uh, the, his version without Justin Bieber already has 2.5 billion views to uh, compared to Wiz Khalifa's 2.897. Uh, so and it's only been out for five months, so there's a chance that that's going to be overtaken as well. But what's Khalifa? Good on you for overthrowing Psy and his uh, Gangnam Style. Uh, no, Psy is my hero though. Oh really? Is he? Because he overtook Baby. Oh, is that a uh, Justin Bieber's baby? Yeah, Justin Bieber's Ooh. baby. That was the most watched YouTube video before before uh, Psy's Gangnam Style, if I believe, if I'm right. Wow. Yeah, I remember too, that because the day that. Uh, the day it, it surpassed Baby, I was like, oh my god, he's my hero now. He beat Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> not an easy feat, you know, with yep. all his bodyguards. You know, it's not really easy to, to beat Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> People have tried. All right, or- Orlando Bloom has tried. Oh uh, man, so- that's exactly what I was thinking about too. <laughs> Fuck Legolas, man. Legolas. <laughs> that's the thing. He went melee. You know, he should have just stepped back and thrown an I arrow know. at him. You had, him with, you had to shoot him out with an arrow while riding a, a skateboard. You know? <laughs> that was his fault. That, that's on him. That's on him. Yeah. All right. Uh, and our last bit of news before we wrap up. Dwayne The Rock Johnson uh, has joked since, I think, January about running for president. Uh, and the thing is, you know, someone named Kenton Tilford from, I think, Virginia filed the necessary paperwork for Dwayne The Rock Johnson uh, to run for president in the 2020 elections. They filed it in the Federal Election Commission, the, the FEC. So if he does change his mind, he's he's good to go. So Hey, anyone can be president now. I know. It's, <laughs> it's so oh, let's bad. Not I mean, let's not get you political. You can't get... Yeah, we're not going to get too political. But honestly, can you get any worse? Can you... you you can't possibly <laughs> get any worse, right? Like, this guy is the most charismatic person uh, this side of of North America. So, you, oh God, you can't. You, uh, I hope you can't get any worse, Dwayne. If 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 you're listening to this, because I know you are, d- do do right by by where Wancho's moving. All right, do right by the Americas. Actually, uh, uh, I think Dwayne would make a good president. Oh, do you? Do you? Do you, do you really yeah, think so? I think so. He's. You have no idea how hardworking The Rock is, man. Oh, I do. I do have an idea. The guy sleeps oh, four there hours. There you go, then. then. Imagine him as president. Just Actually, that, you're, you know what? You're right. You're right. You're absolutely <laughs> right. The guy would put his He probably his won't be playing golf. I can tell you that. Yeah. It, you know what? Yeah, that's true. That's there true. You there Give you Rock Bottoms <laughs> left and right to his cabinet, man. Man. All right. That's it, Wancho. We did it, man. For sure. Yeah. How, how do you feel, man? How do you feel? I feel good. I feel good. This is... Yeah, this... Uh, I feel like I could do this again. If you have me. <laughs> well, you kind of have to now. Oh, man. man I want to be in that intro, man. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. We, well, I'm clipping something out from this episode. You, you'll be on it. You'll be on it. So, uh, Diego, I do want to ask... It was so funny. Uh, you, just, you just cropped one of my profile pictures and put it on a poster. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Because I, I know that, and it fit too. It's like because I was pointing at a comedian in that one of those in that picture. You were pointing at uh, Russell Peters, right? Yeah, Russell Peters. I had half a mind to Photoshop my face on Russell Peters. Oh, that's what you should have done. Thanks. I know, right? I'll, I'll do it in the future, or I could have photoshopped my face over uh, our friend Ellis Amedra, who's also in that photo. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Diego, uh, who's in the chat, I do want to ask you, man, if you want to swing by, you know, talk to me and Wancho sometime. You know, we'll, we'll gladly have you on. We'll gladly have you on. Yes. Because uh, this was a whole <laughs> lot of fun. Uh, Robbie says, "Told you, Harold, because he was the one who's telling me to do it. He was telling me to photoshop my face on Russell Peters." So. <laughs> Uh, I'll do that soon. I'll do that soon. Um, but I'm going to play the music that plays us out. Wancho, this was a triumphant yes. debut for you. I'm, I'm going to say that. You, you, you were you were absolutely amazing. Thank you. Uh, thank you. We got through a you lot of news. You weren't so bad yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That is awesome. See? This is going to be a great... We're going to do great things, people. Me and Wancho are going to do great things. Sylvester Saldana, 2020. (laughs) (laughs) We do great things. All right, guys. 
Uh, Robbie says I get four stars out of five. Oh man, oh that's a that's a that's a good joke, Robbie. Robbie, I'm gonna I'm gonna we're gonna talk about that when I get up. But guys, uh, that's it. That's episode thirty-five. Wancho's debut, man. This, this is this has been great. Can't wait for thirty-six. Oh yeah, most definitely. In, in three weeks. Three weeks. Right? Yep. Two, two to three weeks. Two to three weeks, guys. Stay tuned for that. Um, Wancho. I'm gonna ask you for the very first time, and hopefully not the last. Uh, where can the folks at home find you when you're not on the Quit Stalling podcast? Oh, uh, well, I literally just made a Twitter just for this, just to, just for Quit Stalling. You know, so I Woo! right now it's at Soldano Wantro, just the most vanilla thing. Mm. You know, because I, I want to think of something witty. It's just I, a little mental block. So let's it's just at Soldano Wantro for now, and uh, that's fine. Yeah, from there I'll I'll make well, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Well we'll cross brand, we'll get you a Facebook fan page, we'll make you an Instagram. It'll be great. It'll be great. It'll be great. I we're gonna do great things. It's, it's if I make be, an Instagram, it'll huge. probably be just a bunch of pictures of my baby though, so Oh why not? <laughs> why not? It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. Alright, if you wanna find out oh sorry, real quick, I was supposed to do this. Yeah, so yeah, tweet no. Wancho <laughs> at Soldano Wancho, yep. guys. Check yes. Yeah. Let him know how you felt about episode 35, his debut, you know? Uh, and if you want to find out more about me, uh, head on over to Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Just type in Harold Plays or at Harold Plays and you'll find me. Uh, yeah, send me a tweet. Uh, tell me tell me you like me because uh, I am secretly vain and I need reassurance from time to time. Uh-oh, uh, I need that too. I need that too. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right, oh, oh, tell me, uh, tell me, force me to watch one of the Marvel series. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we you know, I, we I need that. I need, that. I need some convincing because Iron we, Fist. Yeah. We, you know, we could set up a thing where you and I are just at my couch and just like watching. You know, so we get, you know, we get Netflix and chill. Oh, okay, buddy. Okay, <laughs> <friend> is watching. <laughs> hi, hi. All right. <laughs> If you guys want, if you guys want to find out more about quit stalling, head on over to www.quitstalling.us. That's quitstalling.us. We're on Facebook, facebook.com/quitstallingus. We're on Twitter at quitstallingus. Instagram at quitstalling. Uh, if you're watching us now, you're probably watching us on Twitch, twitchtv quitstalling or on YouTube, bit.ly/quitstallingyoutube. Uh, we have SoundCloud for as long as SoundCloud is running because I'm he- I'm hearing really bad news about that. So oh, SoundCloud.com slash quit stalling, yeah. Um, we're on every podcatcher that you can find. Uh, we're on Stitcher, Google Play, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Pocket Casts. Uh, you name it, we're there. So there's no reason for you not to download uh, the Quit Stalling podcast or, or Game Byte. So please check us out. Leave us a five-star review on any one of those. Uh, because that'll help us rise up the ranks and be more visible. It's specifically a five-star review. Please. <laughs> please. Because, you know, we deserve it. <laughs> uh, that's it, guys. Right, we'll see you now. We're going to get one. I feel like now. We'll see you guys in two weeks. Um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, bye, everybody. Bye. See ya. See ya. Oh, where's the audio? Why is there no... This should be... Wait. Up, up. It's up. It should be up. There, here you go. (laughs)